Morning guys, it's username Kate, welcome back to the channel. This morning I'm commuting into work on a BMW C400 X SE. I'm a little bit sunburned, I can't lie. <laughs> so that is not good. But yeah, I'll be on this bad boy. So yeah, come with me for the ride. Right, keyless. Prod that bad boy, let it light up, press that, release the boot. Plant menu, mushroom bolognese. I've left my backpack at my mum and dad's. Let's go. Well guys, I'm on my way to work this morning. It's going to be a scorcher, it's a scorcher now. I'm on the older style C400X SE. You'd be a bit buggered with that word if you were dyslexic. <laughs> right, let's get some speed up. Come on, baby. There we go. Obviously, giant scooter, rev and rip, no gears, front brake, back brake. Now, new ones that you'll see in the showroom will have a TFT dash. But as I mentioned, this is like an older model that they've put on demo. Still an awesome screen, still clear as anything. You've got your fuel up there, you've got your time, your trip, your range. Range is saying 168 miles and it's just used one bar. Let's zip my pocket up. But yeah, I'm just chilling at 70 miles an hour. I'm trying out some new gloves, RST ventilators. So ideal for a day like this where it's absolutely scorching. I've got my Alpine Stars. A mesh airflow jacket because it's so hot so it's still got armour in it and stuff like that and of course I've got uh, bullet jeans on and just boots so even when it's stupidly hot out here I do still try and have a degree of responsibility <laughs> but obviously it is a compromise this stuff isn't going to protect you as much as full leather is Taking it easy in this traffic. And the filtering begins on the giant scoot scoot toot toot. Squeeze through, breathe in, coming through. Give them a nice little wave because they moved over like absolute angels. Looks like a bit of a tight gap. Got to be on the ball all the time. Skip on through. Got a biker behind me, but if I can give you any advice when filtering through traffic and doing your commute is just focus on your own ride. If they want to overtake you, I'm sure they'll make it so. But you shouldn't feel any pressure to go any faster by the person behind. You do you, hun. Oh, that sounds good though. His bike sounds good. Right, I'm just gonna take my time here because I'm trying to get over. So, but yeah, I just think scooters are mint. I figured I'd do a little commuting video as a bit of a filler gap really because I have obviously come back from Scotland, trip of a lifetime. Thank you so much for you guys that followed 
the story that kept up to date with my days <laughs> what we did and stuff and all your kind words were just you know awesome to read of a night when we're trying to settle down hotel room you know it was really really good fun so thank you for that however editing those bitches <laughs> takes quite a while because if you think about it on a day we have hours upon hours of footage and what i might find interesting to watch i know for a fact you guys will be like yeah i'm, I'm bored if i wanted to watch this kit i'd just go and do it myself <laughs> So I've got to be really selective with what I put in and it takes time, unfortunately. So I've got to keep the content flowing in between. I should be waiting for months. <laughs> right, I've got to get over into these right two lanes, which sounds a bit minging, but it'll be fine. I'll do it here. Will I? No. But I will indicate. Yeah, pop in here. That'll do. <laughs> That's my mate. What a guy. But not, see, then I could have just whizzed out into filtering in this lane, but you just never know whether there's going to be a biker also filtering. I see people do it all the time and I'm like, man, how can you just confidently pull out like that? This guy wants to get through, but... We'll filter. <laughs> so, I don't know if... I mean, there was a few of you guys that saw my vlog before I went to Scotland and a lot of you commented that Mike should really, or me and Mike should do the lawn um, because it's looking a bit overgrown and a bit wild and feral. Anyway, uh, he did and he chopped his middle finger off on the lawnmower. So that was a little bit of a stressful time, but he's all right, he's in good spirits. It's a bit of a badass to be honest. Look at this. <laughs> Not a chance. Oh, I could. I really could. I'm just being a pussy. Especially when everything's stopped, but now it's moving again, so. I ain't about getting my bars dragged from one HGV to another. Now we'll go. But yeah, scooter is just such a chill ride. I don't have to think about gears, I don't have to think about much really, except staying alive and watching out for people like this. Don't get mad, just keep going. It's early, people are tired, make allowances. Life's too short to get stressed about the simple stuff. Could have died, but didn't. It's a risk you take when you filter in, you've got to be switched the hell on. I'm sorry, I know me absolutely raging at a car would make for much better YouTube content, but it's just not me. I wonder if this guy's gonna let me in. Perhaps, perhaps not. There's not really a choice. Thank you, leg out. Quick shoulder check. Let's keep on keeping on. Let's give ourselves a strong position. Auf den middle lane. Got high ace in front with a sideburn magazine sticker. Go on guys. That's all your flat tracking stuff. I appreciate that. So yeah, Mike chopped his finger off. Wasn't the best day. It's a bit horrible to be fair. He's basically lost the first metatarsal, which can't be nice for anyone. 
look like this bone gone this fingernail gone it's not great speed camera here 40 mile an hour that won't bother us doing 35 We just gotta make our way through the urban jungle. That is Manchester commuting traffic. So after my holiday, I'm feeling refreshed at work. I've got a different mindset. I'm feeling, you know, ready, ready to work, ready to crack on. Just feeling good about life. It was my birthday uh, yesterday, so when you watch this, it's probably been a few days ago. Big 30. Yeesh. That's gone fast. But yeah, it was a lovely day. Just spent it dead chilled. Got a render sunburn. Standard British person's behaviour. As soon as the sun comes out, absolutely cook themselves. But yeah, I just hope you guys are well. Just thought I'd... Uh, stick a camera on have a little bit of a chat i read an article recently in the manchester evening news that on the 17th of july there was a woman in manchester on kingsway who got approached by lads on bikes and they took a bag and they took a bike so it was really funny because when i posted that clip of like being sort of what i perceived as potentially being chased by two lads on crosses it went a bit viral and it got shared with a lot of sites a lot of youtube like you know traffic cam drama sites and stuff like that where it's like compilations of wild stuff that goes on and there was so many people commenting like oh i bet she loved the attention yeah i really really love fearing that my bike is going to get nicked absolutely thrive off it got others like ah she's just a internet drama queen she's just one of them influencer morons and like it gets to a point where you think you know what i'm gonna have to stop reading these comments for my sanity whoa look at that that is so cool can you guys see that without the light glare this absolute beast yeah so there's a lot of criticism and like nasty things from internet trolls and then when I read something like that it's just like you know what to all them people commenting you don't know me you don't know my situation you don't know my experiences and you only have to go off your own experiences in life you know I was vlogging that day so I had all my cameras on I was talking about my triumph it was like one of my last days with it before I got my GS so I just wanted to chat about it and then it didn't end up being the kind of vlog that I thought it was going to be but just goes to show that you should always trust your gut instinct I'm unapologetic for how I rode out that situation I feel like when you're commuting in the city centre any whiff of perhaps naivety that an opportunist can get you know they're going to be all over you like a rash so not today satan not today so i figured i'd talk about some plans i've got coming up got some quite cool plans so the scotland vlogs took a little bit of a back burner i have been editing them um, but i've also been focusing on an article of the trip for imi motorsport magazine there's a piece in there called the ride of your life on the 22nd of july i will be at the yamaha xsr 125 launch which i really can't wait for that especially as one of my best mates is going ruby so i'll introduce you guys to ruby she is a bundle of energy she's bloody gorgeous yeah, you're gonna like some content with Ruby. She's a firecracker. 
and then later on in the month I am um, I've been invited down to a Pirelli and Metzola weekend and I believe we are riding GSs with different models of like Metzola tyres and stuff like that so that we can get direct comparisons and stuff I could filter but I'm gonna just chill I ain't in a rush to get to work I kind of like the journey oh no sod it I can't help myself <laughs> I can't help myself yeah so I've got that Pirelli and Metzler weekend not weekend sorry bloody hell it's not a weekend it's a day it's a bloody day Now, I won't filter here because I know how tight it gets down there. Yeah, so I've got a day there. It's South Wales, so it's going to be a bit of a gigantic mooch. But yeah, it's just about like getting a feel for different tyres. Like, but like the tests are quite, there's a lot of validity in them because they're like the same bikes on the same surface, but just different tyres. And we're going to be putting them to the test doing different things with them so that should be really interesting I'm really looking forward to that oh we're on red can't really go not blocking that junction hopefully this car won't take my wheel off no clear So yeah, that should be really interesting and really fun. Now we've just come back from Scotland, obviously my GS that Mike was riding is using mutants and they were fantastic. Mike is one of the most honest, brutally honest in fact, people that I've ever known uh, and he really, really rates them. So that's a good thing. But in the vlogging game just like to try you know different things and get my opinion across Mancunian way what a joy you are what a joy Oh, it's when you get two HGVs side by side, it literally knocks me sick in the mouth. <laughs> I think I can get through there. I can. Wait for the guy that moved over. What a gent. That's what I love about scooters, not finding the correct gear, just pull it back and let it go. Pick speed up adequately. It's actually pretty nippy, you know. It gets up to 50 pretty fast. Here. I'll not get silly, no I won't. I'll go for it. Thank you. The Manchester Cityscape. Oh my alarm clock's going on my phone. If you look in the reflection of that van you can see the um, LED light. I mean, it's a bit distorted because of the shape of the van, but it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It's not like a candle in the wind light. See, when I set off to work, it had a 168 mile range. 
I've done 14 miles and it's got 164 mile range. I just love the fuel efficiency of scooters. <clears throat> this one, because it's the SE, it's got the heated grips, it's got the heated seat. It's pretty good. transports me mushroom bollock nose perfectly <laughs> catching a glimpse of myself in a shop reflection then shop window reflection <laughs> oh i look cute like actually cute like small girl and a little city scoot <laughs> beep beep toot toot Oh, even when my gloves fasten, it hurts my sunburn. Look at that, tight bend's possible. Go on, little scoot. Come on, taxi. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. If any of you drive on this road, you'll know how annoying it is. It literally goes to two lanes just to one. And it's like forces you all on top of each other with no warning. So I always try and keep a bit of a distance. There we go, look. All of a sudden, boom, left to merge to the right. Thanks for the warning. Just another day in paradise. Quick check, clear. A little bit of indication. Throw it in. Singleton, what a guy. Nasha. And we're back in work. That'll do. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Yeah, we're not falling off the edge. Press and hold. Steering lock. So yeah, this is, now this is the new C400 GT. So the C400X looks very different to the C400 GT. They're both 400s. That one's geared more towards a bit more like touring, a bit more beefy. That one's a bit skinnier for like city going. But yeah, it looks very Kawasaki-esque on that front end. You know, bigger screen for touring. Bit of a comfy backrest. Just a bit of a bigger beast in general. And this one's got a TFT dash. But yeah. Oh God, can't forget my bloody bolognese. Oh, I'll just put the steering lock off, actually. Put the power on and Pop it. That'll do. So yeah, just a quick little ride in on the scoop. Right guys, I've made it into work safe and sound, albeit with horrendous helmet hair, so pray for me. See you later. Bye.